In this video, we're going to take a look at the custom modes on the Launchpad Pro. Custom modes turn the Launchpad Pro's 8x8 grid into a deeply customizable control surface. So whether you're looking to control devices inside your software or parameters on a hardware synthesizer, custom modes allow you to create templates to suit your needs. There are eight custom mode slots available on the Launchpad Pro, which you can switch between using the track select buttons. The custom mode slots have default templates loaded into them, including a bank of eight faders in slot one, four octaves of a keyboard layout in slot four, and more. You can find details about the default custom modes in the Launchpad Pro user manual. Custom modes are created using widgets, such as horizontal faders, program change buttons, and you're able to map these widgets to control parameters inside your software or hardware. Let's say I want to control a mixture of sends, device controls, and track volumes inside Ableton Live using just one page. Whilst the Launchpad Pro does give you access to control all of these features, you'd have to switch between pages to control them at once. I can come to custom mode one on the Launchpad Pro, and I can map the faders to whichever parameters I want to control. To do this in live, select MIDI in the top right of the screen, click on the parameter that you'd like to control, like track volume, for example, and then press the fader on the Launchpad Pro that you want to control it with. Finally, press MIDI to exit the MIDI mapping, and you can now control that parameter using the fader on the launch pad. Repeat this for whichever parameters you want to control. Novation Components is the hub to create, store, and explore custom modes. You can access Novation Components using the button below this video, as long as you're using a MIDI-enabled web browser like Google Chrome. You can also find a standalone version of Novation Components inside your Novation account once you've registered your Launchpad. To create a custom mode, select Create Custom Mode. You're then able to select which widgets you want to use to control your software or hardware, including MIDI keyboards, faders, program change messages, and so on. I'm gonna create a custom mode to control the Novation Peak Synthesizer. I want to be able to play notes in the key of my track, change between some predefined patches, as well as control the filter cutoff frequency, release, reverb, delay, and arpeggiator gate time. The Launchpad's custom modes allow me to do this all from one page, so let's build this custom mode. First, I'm gonna drag two scaled keyboards onto the grid. Then I can click on the keyboard and select settings where I can choose the scale, the octave, the MIDI channel, and the colors of the keyboard. Next, I'm gonna add a horizontal unipolar fader. And using the Novation Peaks manual, set the CC value for this fader to match the CC value of the parameter that I want to control. For example, the filter cutoff for the Novation Peak is controlled using CC29. So I'm going to select this fader and set the CC value to 29. Now this fader will control the filter cutoff on the Novation Peak. I've repeated this process using the CCs for the rest of the parameters that I want to control, which were release, reverb level, delay level, and arpeggiator gate time. Finally, I've added four program change buttons to the grid and set the program numbers to the patches that I want to have immediate access to. You can hold down Alt or Option and drag a widget to duplicate it. Once you've set this up, save the custom mode using this button. And then select Center Launchpad Pro Mark III. You can then choose which custom mode slot you want to send this custom mode to. I'm gonna send this template to slot eight. And then I can select slot eight on the launch pad using the track select buttons. The faders will be all the way down when you load them, 
and you can use them by tapping on the grid like so. Using one of the three included MIDI adapters, I'm going to take a MIDI cable from the MIDI out of the Launchpad Pro to the MIDI in on the peak. I can now play notes on the peak and control the parameters that I've set up. You can back up your templates using Novation components by logging into your Novation account or using any other available login option. If you'd like to view more in-depth Launchpad Pro tutorials, you can do so using the button below. If you've got everything that you need to get up and running with your Launchpad, then that's great. Let us know and we'll show you the next steps.